Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. Fault Tree Analysis Short form is FTA. In this video, we will explain Fault Tree Analysis Short form is FTA. FTA has two main types of gates. The AND gate and the OR gate. There are also few more gates used in the fault tree analysis and these are the voting OR gate, the priority AND gate and inhibit gate. We will explain the logic and application examples of these gates in the fault tree analysis. FTA was developed in Bell Telephone Laboratory for safety evaluation and later was modified by Boeing. FTA is a top-down approach. FTA identifies models and evaluates the unique relationship of events leading to failure or undesirable events or states or unintended events or states. FTA provides a basis for analyzing system design, performing trade-off studies, analyzing common failure modes, and demonstrating requirements with safety requirements. Source is Dimitri Kesesia Glue's book. The two basic gates used in faulty analysis. The first one is an AND gate wherein the top level event can occur only if all the lower level events will occur as shown in this diagram. The OR gate. The top level event can occur if any of the lower level events occur in case of OR gate. We have seen the logic of AND gate. Now let us see the probability calculation. If events A and B are independent, then the probability of top event E is given by probability of A into probability of B. We have seen the logic of AND gate. Now let us see how to use the AND gate with a simple example. Consider that a file can be transferred to laptop either by connecting mobile to a USB port or by Bluetooth. Probability of failure for both these is 0.1. What is the probability that file cannot be transferred? So probability of top event is equal to multiplication of the two probabilities and that's equal to 0.1 into 0.1 or 0.01. So the probability that the file does not get transferred is 0.01. We have also seen the OR gate before. Now let us see the probability calculation for OR gate. If the events A and B are independent, then the probability of top event E is given by probability of top event E is equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A into probability of B. Now let us consider an example of how to use OR gate. Consider that an oil seal has two failure modes F1 and F2 with probability of failures 0.008 for F1 and 005 for F2 by the end of warranty period. What is the probability that oil will leak considering any of the failure modes by the end of warranty period? This is the fault tree diagram. Probability of leakage is equal to probability of F1 plus probability of F2 minus multiplication of the two probabilities. And if we calculate this, we can say that the probability of leakage is equal to 0 0.01296 or approximately 1.3%. Now let us see poultry analysis example of a tube light. Consider a tube light with the following parts and probability of failure in a year, tube 0 0.02, starter 0 0.003 and choke 0 0.001. What is the probability that a failure on any of these parts will occur in a year? The faulty analysis has got now three parts and with an OR gate. 
any of the three parts fail, the tube will require a repair. So tube fails probability is 0 0.02, starter fails probability is 0 0.003 or choke fails probability is 0 0.001. It may be a good idea to consider reliabilities instead of probabilities of failure. As all three need to work, tube light reliability is given by multiplication of the three reliabilities and that is equal to 0 0.98 into 0 0.997 into 0 0.999 and that equals 0 0.9761. Therefore, we can say that probability of failure will be 1 minus this value that is 1 minus 0 0.9761 that equals 0 0.0239. Or you can say that if we got certain number of tube lights, 2.39% tube lights might fail in one year. This is expected number of failures. Let us now see how we can apply faulty analysis for a field failure. Consider that there is an oil seal failure. Now this can fail because of multiple reasons. So we put an OR gate. The first possibility is there was a dust entry or there could be excess runout of the shaft or there could be a rough shaft resulting into excessive wear of the rubber of the oil seal or there could be an installation error. Now, excess runout could also be due to different reasons. So we put an OR gate and it could be because of the shaft machining error or it could be because of the bearing problem. Similarly, the installation could be bad. So we put an OR gate below that which could be because of bad or no tool being used for installation of file seal. Or it is also possible that the operator who is installing hasn't got appropriate training. Let us see a special faulty analysis gate that is K out of N OR gate, also sometimes called voting OR gate. In K out of N gate, output event will occur only if K or more input events occur. Let us now see an application example of the voting OR gate or K out of N OR gate. Consider that an aeroplane has four engines and an aeroplane can fly with at least two engines working. Thus, it cannot fly with three or more engines not working. So, the faulty analysis shows Aeroplane cannot fly as the top event with voting or with 3 out of 4 and the 4 engines E1, E2, E3, E4 show the probability of failure of the 4 engines. Let us now see a simple numerical example in case of K out of N OR gate. With reference to the following diagram, what is the probability of top event? if all three probabilities of the lower event A, B and C equal to 0 0.05. The top event will occur if two out of three or three out of three failure events occur. We can use binomial distribution to find probability of two or three failures. Viewers can watch our video on binomial distribution. Link is provided in the description of this video. Probability of 2 out of 3 will be given by 3C2.05 raised to the power 2 into 0 0.95 that is 1 minus 0 0.05 raised to the power 1. Probability of 3 out of 3 is equal to 3C3 into 0 0.05 raised to the power 3. And if we take a total of these two because this is an OR event, probability of 2 out of 3 plus probability of 3 out of 3 and these are mutually exclusive. And therefore, we can just take a sum of these two because the multiplication of the two probabilities will be equal to zero. So the total of these two terms is equal to 0 0.00725. We can also use binomial distribution cumulative tables and find out probability of one or fewer events and subtract it from one. Observe this calculation in the binomial distribution tables. Occasionally, okay, a priority AND gate is used. In priority AND gate, the top level failure event occurs if both A and B fail but 
also if A fails before B fails. Let us see a simple application example of priority AND gate. Typical application of priority AND gate is in standby redundant systems where the system failure can occur if both units fail or switch fails before and then followed by primary unit failure. Thus the secondary unit cannot start because the switches are failed before. This situation is shown in the diagram. Inhibit gate. Inhibit gate describes a situation that an input event will produce an output event only if an additional conditional event occurs at the same time. Consider that a person is going in car from place A to place B. He or she finds that one of the tires is flat. He starts looking for step knee and realizes that he has forgotten to bring toolbox or jack after the last servicing. Note, the inhibit gate is analytically equivalent to the AND gate. Thus, this FTA is equivalent to an AND gate with two events, one tire punctured and toolbox forgotten. Here is a faulty analysis exercise for your practice. Consider an automatic air pumping system shown in the following figure. In this system, tank is filled for 10 minutes and then emptied for 50 minutes. After the switch is closed, the timer is set to open contact in 10 minutes and then to close the contact in another 50 minutes and so on. If in the process of filling the tank, the contacts cannot be opened in 10 minutes, then an alarm horn sounds and the operator opens the switch to prevent tank rupture due to overfilling. Perform faulty analysis for this system for pressure tank rupture. Source is shown below. Let us now do a quick recap. In this video, we have seen how to perform faulty analysis FTA using the AND gate and OR gate. We have also explained few more types of gates used in the faulty analysis and these were voting OR, priority AND and inhibit gate. We have also seen some application illustrations using these gates. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it worth watching. Please subscribe to Institute of Quality and Reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on Reliability Engineering, Six Sigma and Quality Engineering.